Hey guys, Ryan Catter here with Shift Athletic Performance. Um, I'm here today to talk about the functional assessment test. You guys are getting this information right now because you guys signed up for the New Year's Challenge. Congratulations, good work, very proud of you. Um, today, I'm gonna to be taking you through this functional assessment challenge. Um, I, this is what I do with all my clients when they walk into my gym, okay? Uh, you know, whether I have a 12-year-old um, golfer or a, you know, 35-year-old Major League Baseball player, these are the four main things that I do that I think will translate from all sports, even into human performance, into you uh, as, as a general public in the gym, okay? So the first thing we're going to talk about today is the overhead squat assessment. Uh, the overhead squat assessment is very important because it assesses the entire body's movement as a one unit. Um, we call this in my industry kinetic chain energy. Uh, kinetic chain energy means everything performing an action is required from here all the way down to your ankles. Okay, so everything moves at one unit to perform an action. Uh, so this assessment and this test right here, <clears throat> I look at the lats, hamstrings, Achilles, calves, your internal external rotators that are around your knee cradle, your glutes, your scaps, your abductors and adductors. These are all things that your body uses to, to perform this action. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys this, 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 is, this assessment right now. You can do this on your own, and I'm gonna show you guys where to feel what when it's wrong, okay? Uh, so the first thing you guys do, you guys are gonna put yourselves in front of a mirror, okay? Okay, posture good, feet a little bit wider than shoulder width, okay? Feet flat on the ground. You wanna start with your hands above your head. This is a four unit test, okay? Hands above your head. You're gonna go down while you keep your legs straight. You're gonna to touch your toes, okay? You're gonna squat, hands go up, and then stand up, okay? I'm gonna repeat that one more time, okay? Okay, everybody gets this wrong the first time. Hands go up all the way. You go down, touch your toes, okay? Keeping your legs straight. You squat, making sure your knees do not go over your toes. Your hands go up, and then you stand, okay? This is looking for any imbalance in your body that may cause you not to be able to do a squat regularly or properly. Um, the things that I would do to improve these things is at the end of each workout, whether it's a total body or it's a lower body, I would do a, a stretch for each muscle in this area, three sets of 10 afterwards, which should take up, up about 20 minutes of your time. This is very, very important because when your body gets too tense and it gets too tight, it actually messes with your sleep and your overall movement throughout the day. So it'll actually make you feel better in a lot of areas you didn't think so. Um, the next thing that I'm gonna talk about today, the next test, is an active hamstring test. Um, the hamstrings are really important because they can cause lower back tightness, uh, back to leg pain, pain in general because it, 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 your hamstrings connect to your piriformis which connects to your lower back. And if one thing is tight, they all get tight. So this is very important. Um, what I would suggest you guys do is you guys get a yoga mat out, okay? Lay it on the ground. <clears throat> get in front of a mirror, okay? Where you can see yourself to the side, okay? You're gonna lay on your back, okay? <clears throat> You're gonna bend your right knee to, to your chest. You wanna make sure that from your knee so your hip joint is 90 degrees from here to here, okay? Grab the back of your leg, make sure your neck is straight and your head is flat on the ground, okay? Back of your knee, you have to straighten your leg out as much as possible, okay? Obviously, you need to stretch more, but your goal is to get the leg completely, completely 90 degrees, okay? So right here, look where you're at, assess where you're at, and see where you'll be three months down the line. The more and more you do this, I suggest you guys do this at the end of each leg workout, or when you're sitting at home not doing anything. If you guys do this consistently for three months, three, time, uh, three times a week, if not more, uh, the more you do it, the better, the better you'll get, the faster you'll get better at it, okay? Um, three months on the road, I, I would suggest that you guys probably have a 30% increase in your guys' hamstrings, okay? This helps a lot with walking, running, gait, uh, your hip structure, everything, okay? The next test that we do today uh, is the push-up test. The push-up test is going to test your upper body strength uh, and how it's put together, okay? Um, 
Upper body meaning chest, back, shoulders, triceps, biceps. Performing this, perform this action uh, takes a lot of core, uh, chest work, and, and triceps. So we're gonna take a look at that right now. Uh, Push-up test. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get on the ground. Okay, all the way on the ground, okay? Make sure that your fingertips are equal with your chest, okay? The whole point of this is to keep your body as stiff as possible when you from, from the start position, position to the finish position, okay? So keep my body straight. I'm gonna push up, make sure my body is, does not break at all, okay? If your body breaks like this, as you go up, you know that you need to work on it, okay? So mark on your board where you broke at, okay? So here, chest. Move up to your shoulders. Move up to your neck. Move up to your ears. And then move up to your temple, right here. Forehead, hands all the way up, next to your face. Core tight, back straight, and down, okay? What I would do, as I do as a trainer, is I take the point that they broke at, and I'll mark it on my, on my sheet. Three months on the line, I'll do a reassessment of them and see where they got better so that the client is reaffirmed and reassured that the stuff that they're doing is working and it's helping. Um, the next test that we're gonna do might actually be the most important one. Um, the plank test. Every exercise, every movement that you make throughout the day requires core. Every movement starts from your core. So the stronger your core is, the better off you guys are gonna be as an athlete, as someone going to the gym. It makes everything that you do outside the gym or inside the gym a lot easier, okay? So, core, everybody wants that six pack, so we're gonna to try to work on that. Uh, we're gonna test that right now. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna do a 30 second assessment on yourself. I'm not gonna get down and show you, but it's a plank, okay? A plank on your elbows, make sure your elbows are right underneath your shoulder. Your shoulders, you're gonna get up, okay? And make sure your body is straight, okay? For 30 seconds, what you're gonna do for yourself is you're gonna write down on a piece of paper, <clears throat> 30 second plank, test where the body begins to shake. If you're looking at a clock underneath your face, your body should begin to shake between, you know, if you're a beginner, eight seconds and 11 seconds, okay? And then see where it breaks, meaning where your body breaks plain at all. So. It shakes at 13, it breaks at 18. You write that down on a piece of paper, you work on your core, work on the planks, work on certain things involving your core, rotational, flexion, extension, um, and back work. 45 degree low back, or a simple Superman exercise will help you. Um, if you guys do this, wait three months, reassess yourself, and see where you've gotten better. And you can see overall, where you've gotten better through your daily living and obviously in how you look. Um, I hope that this, all of this, is some sort of help to you guys. Uh, you know, it's hard to assess yourself, but take the next step. Take, the take it to the next level. No one's gonna do it for you. So make sure you are mindful where you are in your own body, what you need to do, and write the goals out that you need, and there's a process for those. You know, six months on the line, I want my hamstrings to go from 75 degrees to 90 degrees, you know, or I want to be able to do squats again without having any pain, or, you know, my, I want to be able to do push-ups without getting on my knees, or I want to be able to do 50 push-ups in a minute. Whatever your goal is, make sure there's a process for that. You plan ahead, you make your goals, and you meet those goals. Small expectations for yourself lead to big time goals. I suggest you do that and listen to this.